communication all the time, eh? From behind, from behind to the top, okay? Let's build the fortress, eh? That we spoke about it at home, eh? Okay, we start today, eh, guys? We go on three on three, eh? Starting for today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that when it's toughest to today out there that everybody will cover me and all of you, I will cover all of you. Fight for each other we, like we did in the last games. We are like on a good trend, so continue from that. Play with confidence, okay guys? Hi boys, hi there. change the mindset. The last 10 minutes we change the mindset and they slowly start to get closer. Think that the result is 0-0 and we need to change the goal. Trust me. Mindset. Third goal. Third goal. Okay, let's go. No, good mood, good mood this week because it always helps when you win. But I think, uh, I said before, I think that since we came back from the break, uh, the team is training at a really high level. I think that it was a good moment for us to go on the summer break after the victory against Pepe. And even though it seems that it's a long time ago, I think that we're in a kind of a trend where despite the the first game against Ellsworth, we didn't get the result. We thought that the performance uh, of the last three games, uh, I think that are on the right track. Uh, definitely it helps when uh, you achieve two wins in a row to get a good mood in the squad, good mood on the players, and then all the week uh, it's much uh, smoother and, and, and better. I think that we are, I said before, we are not in a position this season where we can expect to win games 4-5-0 uh, in an easy way. Um, I think that in the last two games the team showed courage and braveness to uh, against Sirius we took the lead and then immediately perhaps we didn't get the tempo of the game we wanted and then Sirius uh, score a draw but in the second half the team show an amazing braveness to push to try to score the second goal we create chances to score the third one and then obviously the dynamics of the games are that when one team is, is down in the in the score we'll push especially in the last minutes and this is the dynamics of the game I think that against Kalmar we saw a little bit of the same we played at really high level in the first half the intention was to just go out after the half time with the same mindset uh, trying to score the third one because we knew that that could make the difference uh, to just almost close the game, we'll say. And uh, yeah, of course, Kalmar is 2 down, they need to risk, but the intention, we were making the substitutions as well uh, with the intention to just keep attacking, to just have even more the ball, to press even higher. That's why we put Nali G in, we play Tess in. So, um, and we took actually players like Jewel and Hammer that perhaps they are more like counter attack team or more transitional uh, players. Uh, so in that sense, I think that the intention was is always the same. We will not be a team that will back up. And then definitely in the last 10 minutes when Kalmar is pushing, I think that we got the reward of scoring the third goal. A fantastic way to finish the game, I would say, in a fantastic goal of Tess. And I think that it's part of football that I don't think that any team in the world is uh, dominating the games for 90 minutes, 95 minutes and being totally superior if, if, if the opponent is doing a good game, as, as it was the game against Kalmar. 
it's true that it's not that that long time ago that we play against them. They they didn't change that much. A couple of players now during this window transfer that came in, um, but they are the same kind of team. That they are brave on the ball. They try to put a lot of players in front uh, in front of the ball to be an offensive team. And it's not easy to press them high. It's not easy to push them. But I think that in the game at home we learned that that we create a lot of chances, a lot. Unfortunately, we couldn't score until last minute. And again, emotionally, mentally, was a fantastic boost of energy for all the players. But I think that we deserve to to have a bigger score, so to say, we create a lot of chances. And I think that uh, the intention in this game is that we don't change uh, because it's home or away. The intention will be very similar, of course, adjusting things because, as I said, each game is different and we learn from what, what we could improve uh, in the last game against them. But uh, I think that it's a good opportunity against a team that when they play against us at home, they were in a very good trend and we managed to, to beat them. And instead now they're in a bad trend we're in a good trend, I think that that makes them even more dangerous because obviously they will be very eager and hungry to try to get a good result. We take it step by step and uh, definitely the focus is try to line up the best 11 for this Friday. These three points are extremely important for us and then when the game is over we're going to start to think on, on 20 and Europe. But uh, we have a good squad, we have a good uh, bunch of players that we can know that, that whoever is not starting this game can be ready to play the next one. And uh, as I said before, the guys are pushing a lot on training so we have now 23, 24 players that are very eager to, to have a spot in the lineup. So we're going to use this and, and yeah, as I said, the focus is first first win on Friday and then we will think about Europe.